What's up, y'all? So today I'm going to be playing People Playground, and I'm actually going to be giving a small tutorial on some things, because some people don't really know how to play the game, um, and, but they want to buy it and test it out and do all sorts of shit. So I'm actually going to be here to give you like some small guides and whatnot, just to kind of help you get the basics of the game. Because, you know, I, I know this game can be confusing because the controls are a little everywhere, to put it lightly. So, I'll be giving you any shortcuts, anything, really, that can be used in this video. I'll show you maybe how to, like, build some stupid fucking death trap or whatever. That's... Listen, man, all I'm saying is people really just play this game to kill shit. So, if you're one of those people, all the power to you. It'll take a while for my game to load, so in the meantime... We'll wait. <laughs> <clears throat> so y'all come here often or you know just oh there we go okay all right so let's start off with the basics in your settings you'll find the uh, collision quality continuous dynamic dynamic discrete i prefer discrete personally just because that's kind of you know so when enabled so drop on death is actually something kind of neat drop on death when enabled humans and androids will drop objects when their arms aren't capable of holding on anymore this is usually when they die or when their arms are shot default is on i recommend keeping this on i think it's cool to have kind of like that realism thing and always keep this on reject suspicious mods keep that on there are some mods out here on like the steam workshop that people make because they're assholes that will literally fuck up your game permanently like they'll Make it so the mod change all your settings, whatnot, all stuff like that. <clears throat> now for gore. If you're not that huge on gore, they now have a gore shader. So there's legacy, default, what else do we have? Extra shot impact particles. I remember disabling that. I, I recommend disabling that if you aren't good with gore. Or honestly, you can just make it goreless. Like you can just, yeah, you can just completely get rid of that. In this video, I will be keeping it on, so trigger warning in advance. If you're not cool with gore, I recommend keeping that off. So, in here, you'll find anything like user interface. So, if you're more of a Celsius kind of guy, you can make it that, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, anything. I'm actually going to switch to Fahrenheit for this video. Show frame rate. I recommend keeping this on just to make sure that your frames are staying in a good range for the entire thing. Frame rate limit, dude, honestly... Every PC can run this game like insane amounts just because this game is just a sandbox, you know, you're not really doing a whole lot. And even with recording here, I mean, I'm still getting like 370 frames. So I'll show you what you can do. So we're just going to spawn this person in. And if you hold down left click specifically on the person, you can pick them up, throw them around, anything like that. Oh, and I just snapped their neck. Okay, so we're going to get that person and some shortcuts. So if you'll check out the numbers, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, you'll have here, 2. Now if you just continuously press 2, you'll end up going back down this list, and then it'll put you at the start. So this wire right here is just a conducting wire. You can use that to just... Let's say connect a battery to a decimator. So we're going to do that really quick. See, just like that. And you can make people disappear. Now the battery won't actually affect it, but you know, just if you get bored, <laughs> you can really do anything with that. A battery can make an engine go faster, shit along the lines of that, you know, just stuff like that. And next up. I'm going to be showing, and there is stuff in here that's like mods and whatnot. So, let's get another dummy in here. You'll actually see you can use springs to shock them back. So, it'll let you stretch it out, and then, boom. Now, if you want just a slingshot. Oh, okay. 
This person's fine, trust me. Now, if you want a really well mage slingshot, I recommend using the stiff spring. Just barely putting it forward. Okay, well, I ripped that person in half. That was on accident. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe shouldn't have used the stiff. Uh, they're okay, trust me. See, they're not even bleeding. It was a clean rip. They're fine. They're not, but it's okay. So, let's do this again. Oh, and if at any time you want to drop these menus or this select thing, all you need to do is just press tab. That's all you gotta do. Now, I'm going to show you how to pick up items, how to spawn them in, and certain angles and whatnot. So E, E is how you'll spawn it pointing to the right. Q is how you'll spawn it pointing into the left, just like so. Now, anytime you wanna use an item, you're gonna hold down your left click. You're going to press F. Now, if you wanna like rotate it in any way, let me show you what it looks like anytime you just pick up the gun. You'll see it's just spinning and moving around. You have no control. If you want to control it, you're going to use A and D, and then it'll actually completely stiffen it, and it won't move any more or less. It won't move at all, I should say. And if you want to move the camera at all, just like this, you can use your arrow keys. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a dummy pick up a weapon. You're going to extend out their arm. I recommend pausing the game. You'll use that with space bar. Boom. Just like that. Now they're holding the weapon. What you want to do is hold the gun close to their arm. Like let's say I'm going to pause, put it right here, and then you're going to press F on their arm when the gun is close enough. Now they're holding the gun. And if you want to make them drop it again, you just press F on their arm again. Boom. Easy peasy. Now. We're going to move into something a little more difficult to explain. So, syringes. You have a select amount of syringes already in the game. Mending, it'll make it so that they heal faster. Coagulation, that'll make it so your bleeding will stop quick, more fast-paced, I should say. And it'll make it so the wounds just clot up fully. Now, there are lots to explain. One of the most interesting ones, in my opinion, pink syringe. We're just going to inject them, and they're brain dead. Just like that. Okay, we're going to bring them back. Oh, now they're spazzing out. Okay. We're just going to inject them again. So, one thing that's unique about the pink syringe is that it is completely random every time. Every time. Without fail. It's completely unique. It'll have different effects and whatnot. So here, it just made them catch on fire. Just like that. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool what this game has to offer. I think it is really unique of a game. Obviously, psychopaths play the game. <laughs> if that isn't obvious enough, you pretty much just go around blowing shit up, killing everything. So yeah, let me show you the fundamentals. Well, sorry, not fundamentals, but like extra shit that you can check out. So, pressing T, you'll get thermal vision. Anything that you have your cursor on, you'll be able to see the exact temperature of. 89 degrees. There we go. Now, let's do this on a robot, on an Android. They're running high. That's you know, just because they're metal. So 100 degrees on the... Um, Android. Now, let me show you how to go into detail view. Detail view, you're gonna be <laughs> detail view. You're gonna be ending up pressing S on your keyboard, and you will see their health bars on that specific part of their body. So let me just make an example here. We're going to freeze, slow down time. I mean, freeze them again. Now there are some things shown in this video that are mods. Like, all of these, he, not the animations, but all of these here, like in this genre, kind of, these are all mods. So, here's what we're going to do. I am literally just going to shoot his arm. 
Okay, there we go. As you can see, his arm now has lost all of the, uh, gosh, sorry, my brain's not working right now. I'm doing a lot of talking in this video. I'm not used to it. Um, so as you'll see, his arm is dying and you'll notice the rest of his body's dying too, due to blood loss. Really realistic. But yeah, no, his arm's completely dead. Now, if we want to bring them back, we're going to, boom, get out that stretcher. Boom, boom. We're jump starting the heart. Here, let's go, let's go. Let's save this patient. There we go. Alright, cool. <laughs> we just made a superhuman pretty much just with this combo. But, I mean, if you really just want to bring someone back, like, immediately, you just hit them with the life syringe. Boom. Just like that. Now, if you are one of the people that don't like the fact that these syringes have infinite source, you can literally just right-click on them, disable infinite source, and then... Boom. It's all gone. Now, don't worry, because even if it's there fully empty, you can just enable it, and it'll fill right back up now let's let's work with an empty syringe it'll automatically start to pull instead of push so it'll take out the blood and then if we put it back to push boom you're injecting yourself with the blood now one thing that they don't have is abnormal blood transfusion so if you give someone another dummy's blood it won't affect them because i think they're all like the same pretty much test subject now one thing that's a bit more confusing to do flasks these are a little more confusing to work with you can't well you can just directly put blood into the flask and it will work but there are other types of flasks that you can't just how do I say it pull the stuff from, like push it into the subject so nitroglycerin we all know what that is it's you know, it goes boom. So if I end up actually sticking this into the subject, it won't work. Simple solution. You're going to press the gear cog right here in machinery, and then you're going to find blood tank. When you see blood tank, you're going to put it to pull. There are four modes. There's going to be push. You're going to be pushing it into the subject, just like so. Not like that, though. Um, Pulling. So we're going to actually just take a liquid conduit. Boom. Now it's going to pull all of that nitroglycerin into there. Oh, and if at any time you want to delete anything, you're just going to press Z on your keyboard. That'll delete it. Now, we're going to actually just pause. So we're going to press spacebar again. We're going to skip past drain because that'll just make it all shoot out. And then we're going to push it into our subject. Make him relax because now he is literally a ticking time bomb. And here's what happens. Like I said, I gave a trigger warning. You can't get that upset with me. All right, <laughs> moving on. I'm going to show you how to slow down time. Now, let me give you a reference. Boom, average Joe and shot already. You couldn't even see the bullet move, in all honesty. So, now, to slow down time, we're gonna be pressing G. Now, let me show you an another thing. My bad, my bad. Uh, general. Slow motion speed modifier. Anytime you press G, it'll slow down the game to a certain amount. The default is going to be 20. Let me show you why I don't use 20. So, it's still pretty fast, right? But you're still not going to be able to see the bullet. And I'm more of like a guy that likes kind of like the cinematic feel. Like, it's like pure fucking Matrix and Neo dodging the bullets type shit. So I move it down to 2. You can still see the bullet, but, you know, obviously it's still passing through speed. That's just, like, insane to see. <laughs> see, you ain't finna dodge that. Now, another thing. The thing with these humans in here, they're fragile as fuck. Like, I mean, like, yep, just like that. Okay. Yeah. So, note to self, like, note to all of you. Don't fling them around. They... Yeah, that shit will happen. I mean, that'll probably happen to any normal person anyway. So, let's move on to the cars. I think a basic car that's just in the game is this. Yeah, just label the car. You can... Find
fuck it, you know, just destroy the doors, destroy the trunk on the back. Now, you'll see that there's a fuel tank back there. If you actually take that out, the car won't work. So, we're gonna just repair. See, that won't work either. So, now we need to get a whole new car. And then, you can rip out the engine, but they added a cool feature pretty recently where you can just repair engine. Boom. Still doesn't work because it needs the entire engine. <laughs> kind of forgot. So, there we go. As you can see, we're driving. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna make it hit like a stone wall or something. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I got my phone out of that. So, one new detail that they added with the tires on the cars like any other tire, it should pop anytime it's shot, right? Boom. They added that feature now, which is really nice. Will it still be able to drive? Yes, but you'll see that the wheels kind of spasm the fuck out. You'll see it's more bumpy. And I'm gonna just slow down time and flip it, you know, because I can just do shit like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you explosives. They're fun. So the basic ones you're going to have are your hand grenade, sticky grenade, landmine, pink explosive. Uh, another basic one, you're going to have dynamite. You know, everybody knows what the fuck dynamite is. You're going to have an EMP generator, an atom bomb. What else do we got? A fusion bomb. Uh, you know, just like a general purpose bomb, so a nuke, pretty much, and a firework. Now, which one of these would you say is the most deadly? No, you got it wrong. Sorry, I forgot the red barrel. So, out of all of these, which one do you think is the most deadly? Maybe the one that literally covers the entire map, right? Like, maybe this one? You see, you would be correct, but this is the only explosive it works on, by the way. You see the firework? We're gonna press resize after we press right click. We're just gonna make it grow a little bit and then boom. You will immediately see that no matter where I move, the cone for the explosion radius is so large that no matter where I move, I will not see any of it, even when I'm fully out of zoom. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when I explode it. Nothing too crazy, honestly. I'm gonna just, you know, just like a colorful supernova, pretty much, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. All of the other bombs, gone. I mean, except for this. Except for, well, this broke. Yeah, this just fucking broke, man. <laughs> I don't, yeah, no, this is gone. Alright. Let's use the fusion. God. Damn, that's loud as fuck. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Now, I think the one that is genuinely the most interesting out of all of them, obviously the firework Easter, not even Easter egg, just like thing is really cool. The pink explosion one, not only does it make a huge explosion, but it literally melts their entire body. Like, it's, it is gone. It's gone. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.